you like art and you like great content, you have to stay tuned to see this cool video and content. Hello guys and welcome to another application recommendation for your iPods, your iPhones, and your iPads. This application needs iOS 7 firmware or higher to work on your devices and it will work on uh, all of your devices, your iPods, your iPhones, and your iPads. So let's get started. So all of you know about uh, one major app that I use for photo editing is um, Art Studio, but the one I'm going to show you today um, is uh, called uh, Photogene. So what Photogene does is it's it's another version of like, fo like Photoshop. It has some things that Art Studio doesn't have. Um, so I will click on a folder here and I'll just grab a random image. Let's just use that one. Okay, so what you're seeing is a picture of my past project that I did a Minecraft pixel art video of and it's a strength and complexity. So let me show you some of the features you can do. If you look on the top, um, or sorry, not on the top, if you look on the bottom, there is um, presets, so you can do all sorts of different uh, filters and things. You have crop, you can crop it, you can rotate it. Uh, adjustments I'll get to in a minute. Uh, retouched, uh, you can put text on it and you can enhance it. But what I'm going to show you the most right now is the um, adjustments. So you have the clarity, which um, if you change it, as you can see, you'll start to see it um, after it loads here. Okay, yep, so as you see it more um, saturated and more contrast. Uh, you can change the brightness by just adjusting the, uh, by clicking on it and then you choosing up and down the exposure. You have contrast, you can move up and down under brightness as well. You have light and shadows and uh, darken shadows under there as well as you have your auto button and your reset button so you can reset it back to the uh, previous settings it was at. So then you have colors, you have your saturation, uh, you have your vibrance, you have your color temperature whether uh, blue means cold, red means hot, and then you have tint which is um, you know whatever you want it to be type of color you want it to be tinted and then you hit reset to reset all of them back to factory settings um, to the way that the image was so uh, sharpen slash uh, denoise so there might be you know some what what noise means is um, uh, your image is kind of fuzzy and things so what these settings will do is uh, make the image less fuzzy for you and more um, color put together and it more it, it's just all over more better clarity I, I I don't use these a whole ton um so I'm really not an expert to tell you specifically what they do but uh, I can give you a general idea so moving on um we're going to uh click on this one it's histogram and this does a whole bunch of different things depending on how far you move it uh, you can also move the other side to change it, and then if you move it, if you move them past each other, then it becomes a negative image or a negative representation. And you can do this either way, as you can see, as I'm moving them. And then you have auto, and then you have reset, and yeah. And then RGB basically means you can adjust your red, your green, and your blue. RGB, red, green, blue, just you're all well aware. And then you can hit reset to make it back to regular. And curves is an interesting thing. Um, you want to hit show so you can get the little graph here. And this also does a number of different things depending on what you do. So you can move it around on this graph um, and uh, you can make different points. As you see, I got two of them here. So if I move that one up there and yeah, that one right there. You, you see you got two points, but what you can do is cool is you can add three points and you can add four points and you can add five points. You can do all sorts of things and you can hit reset to make it back to normal and then hide to see the picture and show to see the graph. And you can also adjust the red qualities of the picture as well, the green qualities and the blue qualities by clicking the icons on the bottom left side of the graph that's shown over your image. So yeah. Um, that is basically it that I, I, 
uh, really wanted to show you out of this application recommendation video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the comments below. Um, if you would like me to do anything in particular with this application to show you a little bit more about it, please also leave a comment. Um, like, favorite, share the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed because there's more great content that I just don't want you to miss. And, um, yeah, so I say thank you for watching this video. I hope I gave you another application to check out on the App Store. And I say see you later.